Hi guys, Danielle here. Uh, Kristen and I decided to switch days this week, so I am covering today, and you'll see Kristen's lovely face tomorrow. Um, this week we're kind of going over the top things to know about dating someone who's trans, and um, for me, I would definitely want to say that uh, I found that patience is needed and I'm sure I'm probably going to end up echoing um, Carrie or Elizabeth's views to some extent. I haven't um, I haven't watched their videos yet. I watch the videos after I've done mine so that um, I kind of have a fresh idea of what I want to talk about first. Uh, so they've probably gone over this because it's something that's really common. Um, Lex has definitely been excited about his journey and I'm excited for him. Um, but he tends to get really excited over smaller things a lot. Uh, I don't know if you noticed from last week, but he does have a beard. He's very proud of his beard and he talks about it all the time. Um, Oh my gosh, it's been 95 days since I trimmed my beard. Oh, do you think I should trim my beard now? Well, what if I let it grow out? Do you think I can get it to get long enough to wrap beer cans in it? A la Beard Show, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, he's watching stuff about beards all the time and super excited about his and um, excited that all of his chest hair is growing back in since his uh, last surgery. And for me, I just find it absolutely adorable. I think it's really cute that he gets super excited about that and I share in that joy with him. But um, patience can run on the other end of the spectrum when, uh, you know, he is throwing a little bit of a tantrum and I just kind of have to take a deep breath and roll with it and let him do his thing and you know know that he's just being him uh, so definitely that uh, I would also say um, you need to have a little bit of sensitivity when it comes to things um, you want to be open with your partner about how comfortable they are with other people knowing that they're trans or um, what they're comfortable with people knowing about them as far as their transition and their um, and their progress and their changes. Uh, I've definitely learned with being friends with trans uh, other members of the trans community as well as being in a relationship with Lex that every person is different. And, um, like I know for myself, there's certain things that I probably wouldn't be talking to people about or, um, really enjoying other people saying about me. And so, uh, it kind of runs the same for Lex. So there's a lot of people that do ask questions that, um, I have to kind of delicately, you know, sidestep or, um, skirt around, um, you know, talking about his past, I get a lot of the questions like, oh, well, what was his name before? Or, well, what, what was he like before? And, um, you know, with him, it depends on the person, depends on the situation as to, you know, whether to bring it up or not. Um, he doesn't necessarily talk about his past, and it's not something that you necessarily need to talk about. So, uh, yeah, I've just found that it's good to, to talk ahead of time and figure out... Um, you know, what they're comfortable with other people knowing. Um, what else? That kind of goes along with communication, but I think that's important in any relationship, regardless of uh, who you're with, um, because so many arguments and things and, you know, issues come out of not communicating the problem. Um, Lex and I make a really big point of being open with each other and honest with each other at all times. If one of us is upset by something or hurt by something, we make a point of telling the other person, you know, I'm upset and this is why. Or even if we aren't <laughs> agreeing on, um, on a certain topic, it's, you know, oh, well, I think it's this because of X. And the other person says, well, I think it's this because of Y. And we're able to kind of see the other person's point of view and uh, talk through things. It just works out so much better that way. Um, I don't know. 
I have a hard time coming up with the last couple items just because, um, just because it just seems like straightforward things that you would do in all relationships. Um, I mean, to go along also with sensitivity, um, I know it was really important for Lex and for his body image to me to have me reinforce uh, his masculinity. And um, I found that he was so much more comfortable with himself the more um, the more he saw how I, how comfortable I was with him and to know that his body is beautiful and that he's handsome and reinforcing that with him was very helpful. So I would say that. And then um, finally, you know, I don't know how many people out there that are with um, someone who's trans now uh, that have been with, um, with cisgender males, but... Uh, you know, it's very important not to compare. Um, Lex definitely is more a sensitive person, um, more open with his feelings, and I love that about him. Um, but it may be surprising for people that have dated cisgender males in the past because um, I find that cisgender males typically... Uh, typically don't really discuss their feelings as much. They're not as open. Um, you know, they're not willing to cry at a sad movie or, uh, you know, or just, just be themselves, I guess. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a little bit different. So, um, but that just goes with anybody because you could end up, you know, you could have been dating a cisgender female that, you know, is very, closed off it, it kind of his personality thing I guess but um, that's something that I did notice with Lex is that he's more open with his feelings and and um, I think it's cute um, but I think he's cute so <laughs> it is what it is uh, yeah I look forward to seeing the other ladies videos now that I'm done with mine and um, can't wait to talk to you guys next week all right